I'm sorry. Good morning, Diva Nation, WRJRians. It's been a while, huh? <laughs> well, first off, I'd like to wish you all a happy new year. I hope you guys had a great Christmas as well. Um, still a little sick. Just actually got a call from the doctor's office, and I'm not really encouraged by it, but... You know what? God has the final word, so I'm just going to forge ahead, get back into my actual life, and what happens, happens. Um, got two for you today. The first, actually both of these people are in the same place, they're both in North Carolina. <clears throat> and the first one is from a young lady that says he takes her for granted. And so I was asking her, you know, you know a little background. Um, they've been dating for a couple of years and he does things and she feels like he does the things that he does because he expects her to always be there no matter what he does. And she's getting a little tired of it. So I did ask... Um, well, what are some of the things he does? Um, well, they'll have plans and at the last minute, he'll either break them or he'll just not show up. He'll tell her, I'll call you when I get home from work or wherever. And then she doesn't hear from him. Um, I think um, her big push was, I don't remember if it was a birthday. Yeah, I think she said it was her birthday. They were supposed to go out and um, he didn't show up. And um, he had legitimate reasons for not showing up, but she feels like she's on the back burner. That's actually my word. Just, you know, what she said describes being put on the black back, blah, 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 back burner. So my my thought is this. I think a lot of men and women do take their significant other for granted because they feel like they will always be there. Um, I know I'd always be there for mine, but we all have a, a point, a breaking point where we feel like it's almost like this, this thing I posted on my wife. one of my friends posted it and I reposted it. Um, where be careful who you take for granted because somebody else will do what you're not willing to do basically I believe that to an extent um, I don't think you need to just run off and find another guy I think you need to open up the communication lines because as easily as you spoke to me it should be that easy with him too now, granted, you know, horse, you know, I mean, pot, kettle, black, you know, that scenario. It's hard for me to talk to certain people in my environment. So, and not just my guy. It's, it's hard for me to talk to certain people because I'm that girl that doesn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But I'm not going, I'm not content to sit around and keep getting mine hurt either. So eventually I will say something. And I think that that time has come for you, especially if you're this discouraged about it. So just let him know how you feel. Um, and if he says, you know, I'm sorry, I'll do better. Um, encourage him to show you. Proof is in the pudding. Hey, Kim, you know, none of this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And then there's no action. You need to have some action. And then the second young lady, you know, still in North Carolina, said she's ready to leave her relationship. So, you know, of course, I got to be nosy. Like, okay, what's wrong with the brother? <laughs> she said um, he disappears on her. He doesn't respect her. He's cheated on her or is cheating. No, she said he is cheating on her. Um, she fit. Wait, I he disrespects her. She feels like he's cheating on her. I'm sorry. I don't want to get that all. She feels like she's being cheated on. Um, he's unreliable. He's 
know, all these wonderful qualities. So my question is, if he's all that, hey, Michelle, good morning. If he's all that wonderful, why have you been there, to, you know, this long? And she said, because I love him. You know, that that line right there drives me crazy. And the reason it drives me crazy is because we, as women especially, fall back on that as an excuse to accept abuse. And he may not be hitting her, but everything she described is emotional abuse. So, you know, that's that old school fallback. Oh, but I love him. Oh, but I love her. Okay, what about you? Do you love you? At some point, you got to love yourself enough to say, this is unacceptable. If they don't want to change their behavior, it's time to go. So if you're even contemplating leaving this relationship and you're asking me about it, honey, you already know the answer. You already know what I'm going to say. You know, I hate to be that, you know, dump them kind of woman. But a lot of these scenarios that are sent to me, that's exactly what should be happening. Yeah, writing, it, it, to me, the writing's on the wall. If he's doing all that, okay, first off, talk to him. Exactly, Kim. Don't want to be without a man syndrome. Uh, you, do, do we not realize we came here without a man? We were created by a man, you know, he one half, but we came here without a man. When we die, we're going to be buried without one. So I don't understand. I've never understood that. I have friends. I have relatives that. Oh, I have to have a man. Oh, I have to have a woman. No, you got to have you. Because no matter what's going on with you. Or with somebody else. You still have to take care of you. So I, I've, I've never understood that. Never. Um. You got to love yourself enough to want somebody that's going to respect you. It's okay to want a man or a woman. That's fine. But when you're being disrespected to this degree and you got to sit here and say, you know what? I think I'm done with this relationship. No, you ain't got to think about it. Basically, you are. And um, so now the only thing left to do is to do it. So, you know, I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings, but I'm sorry if I feel like I'm being disrespected to this degree, especially, there would be no discussion. I would just be gone. Right. In a relationship or marriage and still alone. That is the worst feeling ever to be especially married. You know, you've committed your life to this person and you're alone. That sums up my marriage. <laughs> like I, I used to tell people all the time, I was a married single parent. I was married, but I was alone. And it's not, you know, he wasn't that dog out there cheating or anything. He was a paper chaser. And um, it wasn't because he felt like he needed to do better. He was trying to do better than me. So it was a competition and... You can't nurture a relationship like that. You both have to put in some effort. And this guy here, if he's doing all that, you stay in there. Hi, Nikosha. It's not likely to change it. You are giving him permission to abuse you. So it's time for you to take your power back. Either you want to continue putting up with that or you're going to learn to love yourself enough Respect yourself enough to say, go on somewhere, go, bye, or you leave. It's, it's that simple. I know it may be a little hard, but at some point in a relationship, you have to come first. So go off and find you a man or, you know, let a man that's going to respect you the way and treat you the way you want to be treated find you. Don't settle. Nobody should have to settle. Okay. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to go. Um, I'm still at home in my pajamas, still on vacation, according to my boss, you know. But um, once again, I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Thank you for hanging in here with us. 
Um, I will be back on the air Friday night for Love Unlimited Live, 8 p.m. till 11 out east, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. out west. Hey, Arnold. You know, I used to say that to you all the time, and I just found out that's a TV, it's a cartoon or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not picking on you. It's just, yeah, I thought it was cute. And then um, Sunday for the old school cool down, 2 to 5 out east, 5 to 8 out west. So, happy new year. Oh, right. People tend to be worried about status and not happiness. That is miserable. You know, I, I, I do feel in my heart, everybody wants to belong, to belong in a sense to somebody. Um, everybody has a sense of pride about, you know, this man saying, I love this woman or this woman saying, I love this man or this is my man. This is my woman. But what does all that come with? If it comes with being cheated on, being disrespected, being treated like, a, you know, something you wipe your feet on, what's the value in that? I don't see any. So I'm not inclined to stay. That's why I'm single so much. Um, I don't want a man that badly that I'm willing to put up with being abused in any shape, form, or fashion. So that's why I'm single a lot. You know, I'll go years between a relationship. <laughs> this was just happened to last for years. But yeah, I, I would go a long time and not be in a relationship because I love me too much. So anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for tuning in. I will see y'all tomorrow for more of this. I guess it has a name now. Um, we're calling it, I guess we're calling it Ask Miss Diva. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit my inbox. I do have an inbox on the WRJR's Miss Diva Phoenix page, but I also have a moderator. So if, <laughs> if you, Kim, <laughs> hi, hi girl. Um, <laughs> Because <laughs> nobody's going to love me the way I love me. Right, Kim? <laughs> so um, I do have a moderator for that page. So if you want to be anonymous, you're going to have to hit my regular inbox. So I will <laughs> see you guys later. Um, be blessed. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>